Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to another Java tutorial. In today's video, we are going to be trying to uh, convert a string into an array and then an, an, an array into a string. We're going to be doing the array into a string first because uh, it's just, just more, it's a little bit more simple and then we'll try to convert uh, the uh, the string into an array. So we can get started. So firstly, we're going to try to convert uh, this array that we have. So let's make a string array. So we have a string. Let's name it something like words, for example, and then let's give a couple of values uh, in here. What are those values? Let's say, let's just do my name, we'll do a small, my name is uh, John Joe. John Joe. My name is John Joe. So this is the array we have. We have four values in here and it's in the array word. So I'm going to try to convert this array of words into the string. Uh, let's do um, sentence and we'll equal this to nothing for the moment uh, like this. Just like that. So we have an array of words that we're going to try to convert this array into the sentence. So first we give ourselves a for loop and then we'll just do what we did in the last few videos. We'll just create a for loop so and we will do words.length and then we'll do i++. Plus plus. If you don't know how for loops or arrays work uh, I have it's like a couple of videos before this uh, I went over uh, arrays and then I went over uh, for loops as well. Uh, so here, so here we have a for loop, which is going to loop through this array. So it's going to loop over it four times. Now we need to somehow insert um, these values into this uh, into this array here. So how are we going to do that? So firstly, we need to get our first uh, value, which is my. And we need to somehow put it into this. So firstly, we'll do what we'll do is we'll do a sentence. And we're going to equal sentence to sentence and we're going to do plus uh, whatever word we have. So we have words and then we'll have the value which is going to be i. And this is literally it. This is how we convert a array into a string. And then if we, we print out, if we print out a sentence, so firstly, I'll print out sentence beforehand, just so we can see the difference. So I'll do uh, previous, and then we'll do sentence, and then actually here I'll do um, after, just so we know the, the difference. So if we print this out, there you go. So now we can see. We got all values from here, so and then we place it inside of sentence. So we print it out beforehand. We have previous. There's none here. You can see it's just empty. And then we have the after, which we printed out everything from this array into this uh, string here. But you can see we have no spaces in here, so we we need to add spaces. There is a very easy way to do this. The way we can do this is we we can literally just add a space. So the way we'll do that is we'll just do plus again and inside between these we'll just add a space just like this. So this will just add a space uh, after every single word. There you go. My name is John Joe. Uh, a bit easier or just so it makes it look better because now we also have a space here which we, we don't actually want. So we, we can fix that very easily. The way we'll do this is we'll just put this at the very end like this. There you go. So we have no more space in here. There is there is a space here, but the only reason there's a space here is because we put a space here. If I get rid of this, see there'd be no more space. So this is the this is what we have. We could uh, probably not the best, but yeah, this is the way uh, we can convert a array into a string. We can do the exact same thing with um, uh, an int array. So let's say we have some values. We just have one, two, three, and four. Let's say we want to convert this integer array into a shrink, for example. What we can do is same thing. 
one, two, three, four. Let's say we don't want the space this time. We just we can just get rid of the space. There you go. We we have the value of one, two, three, four that is stored in this shrink sentence. So this is how we convert uh, an array into a shrink. We can also convert it in, into an int. We'll just change this to an int. But yeah. Uh, so that's the first part of this video. The second part of this video, we're gonna try to do the reverse. So we're gonna have a shrink, and we're gonna try to convert that into an array. So let's let's start from the very start. Let's start from from the very start. So let's say we have a shrink, uh, and I'll just do str for shrink. That's equals to some. Let's do hello. It is a very nice day. So let's say we want to convert every single word in this string into an array. First thing we need to declare an array. Um, so let's declare a string array. So we have a string and let's just, I'm going to do R, but this time we're going to equal this to null. Which basically means we're declaring the array as an empty string array. So th this array here is just empty. There's nothing in this array, it's just empty. So there's a very easy way that we can convert this uh, into this array. And it's literally just one line. And the way we'll do this is, so we will call the array that we want to add stuff in. So we'll do R. And then we will equal this to, then we'll get string. We'll do str. And then we'll do dot split. Uh, it did put stuff in here uh, automatically, which we don't need. So we're going to split this string here uh, based on a certain character. That character that we're going to split it is going to be the space. What this means is in this, in, in this string, wherever there's a space, we're, we're going to split those values. So for example, we have uh, the word hello. Then, so the split is going to work like this. It's going to continue to get all the um, characters until we get to space. We're, we are going to ignore that space and get everything beforehand and put that into array. Then we'll move on to the next one. See, there's no space. There's no space. Okay. So there's, there's a space here. We ignore that space and we get everything beforehand, but it will be before this uh, space. So it, it won't get anything beforehand. So it will just get everything in between all of these spaces here. So for example, it'll get hello. Okay, there's a space here. So let's get this. Let's leave the space out. Then let, let, let's get this, it, because there's a space after and beforehand. And that's why it'll work for every single one. And then we can just quickly, um, can quickly make a for loop, for example. Uh, we'll do int i is equal to zero. i is less than, then we'll do r dot length. Then we do i plus plus. And then we can just print out everything that's in the array. So we'll do our uh, i. Now when we print the cell, you, you can see we get a nice array with every single value. But yeah, so we have the uh, the array um, right here. Uh, let's say that we want to, let's say we don't want to uh, get all of the spaces. Let's say we want to split this array based on some other value. So let's say I want these two values to be in the first index. So the way we'll do this is let's say we use some other character. Let's let's just use a hashtag for example. Let's have a hashtag here. Uh, so we want this to be let's put this in here as well. So we have two uh we have two strings um in here and then we separate it with a hashtag then we have another two two strings we separate with a hashtag and let's just say we separate all of these uh, with hashtags now we have to change this here to a hashtag and now you you will see whenever we run this you can see the way it gets split so the, the way we split it now is instead of spaces we split it with hashtags so for example all of this um, it looks for the hashtag so it goes hello, okay, there's no hashtag, and then we get to a hashtag, okay, so this is index zero. Then we ignore this hashtag, we keep moving on. We get all this, there's no hashtag, okay, there's a hashtag, this is index uh, one. 
then we see a hashtag, we ignore it, and this is index uh, 2, 3, and 4, and then we can easily see this here, the way we print out the array, so this is uh, index 0, as you can see it says hello it, then you can see up here we have hello it, and then this is the hashtag, so this is index 0, as you can see here, then is as is the next one, this is index 1, and so on, so this is the way we can split it. And that's basically it uh, for this video. Um, it's 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 a very easy way to split um, arrays into strings and strings into arrays. Um, you can mess around and try to use integers as well. It's, it is a bit different, but you you can still do it. Um, but that's for you to figure out how to do. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.